Hello everyone and welcome back to our show, broadcasting from the Washington County Community Foundation Studios. And we do have a special episode for you. As a celebration of our second to last show, Explain the Finale, we will be doing a fun episode. So no more boring weather or community happenings. Yuck! Today is all about skits and laughs. So hold on to your pants because this one's going to be a doozy. And here's Ethan with some real news. Thanks guys and welcome to Real News, the only show that gives you the stories the media won't tell you. This week we'll be talking about Easter, everyone's favorite method of having the scent of vinegar burned into your nostrils. Now, I've been told to write a full-length story on the origin of Easter, but in reality, it's really kind of a boring tale. <laughs> An Austrian egg farmer, Franz Easter, decided he would play a prank on his local village by painting and hiding eggs around town. To add to this, he hid the eggs dressed as his fursona, a fun rabbit. So yeah, that's really all there is for Easter, but I think we have largely, uh, there's a largely overlooked holiday happening very soon, and that is Avengers Endgame, baby! Yeah. <laughs> and probably by the time this episode is released, odds are you've already seen it or have plans to see it. I mean, unless you're just a masochist and hate Marvel movies. But in which case, uh, feel free to never talk to me ever. But um, uh, anyways, I'd like to take the advantage of not yet having seen it to make some predictions. So feel free to watch this episode after you've seen it and just go, eh. So first up, Thanos will not die. Yes, you heard me right. I believe the Avengers won't kill Thanos, but instead teach him a valuable lesson about sharing and friendship. There will be a half hour long musical number involving a fun cameo by the Muppets. By the end of the movie, Thanos will have turned his whole life around. He'll be a vegan, he'll drive a hybrid car, he'll have an adopted orphan from Taiwan. Some more predictions, Captain America will die, so will Iron Man, uh, Black Widow, not Hawkeye though, but he's just sleeping. Um, Avengers Endgame will also be the debut of the next phase of the MCU, replacing the Avengers with, you guessed it, The Inhumans, a Marvel comic series starring a family of superheroes, otherwise known as the Avenged Adams family. With the debut of The Inhumans also comes my personal favorite superhero, that's right, Miss Marvel, and not the old Miss Marvel though, like the new one, like Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. She has stretchy powers and a giant teleporting dog, and she's my favorite, and in fact, Reading Miss Marvel comics got me into reading comics in general. But yeah, Kamala Khan's in the MCU, and I will scream in the theaters. And uh, those are my Avengers predictions. So here's some other segment, I guess. I don't know. Oh, there will be quite another segment. Oh yeah, a fun skip written by yours truly. <clears throat> Ours truly. Are you trying to pluralize yours truly? Not just trying, succeeding. Well, sure. Well, here's the script. Hello, I'm Dr. Philip, divorce counselor. Uh, no relation to my uncle, Dr. Phil. Uh, anyways, why have you um, come to this facility? I just, I can't do it anymore. I just, I can't have her in my life anymore. I need a divorce right now. Okay, and uh, how long have you been married? We haven't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are we? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just moved to Florida today. And she found me on the street, and here I am. So, you claim you have never met before this? Oh. Listen, Sharon, we have been together for 15 years! How dare you pretend you don't even know me! My name's Julie! <laughs> Julie Sharon, how dare you lie! What's your name? I don't even know you! Who are you? Julie? <laughs> I just can't. I mean, we have to divorce right now. Like, I don't even know her anymore. She told me her name was Sharon 15 years ago when we met, and now she's telling me her name was Julie. How, how dare she? What is... So, so you claim you've known each other for 15 years. 15 whole years, wonderful years of my life, and then she does this to me. I'm only 20. <laughs> I'm married. When we married, when we were both five, it was a, it was a whole like arranged marriage. It was very complicated, and I, so, I love her so. So was this arranged marriage like a cultural thing or just like a choice? <laughs> a little bit of both. Okay. And and you claim you remember none of this? No. Jolie, if that's 
what's your real name? Julie. Julie, whatever your name is. You, I can't do this anymore. I just, I've loved her all my life, and now I just don't know her anymore. Okay, um, do you have any proof of marriage? Any, like, documents or... The proof is in the pudding, which I left at home. What, okay, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I put all the proof in my delicious, just dirt pudding, absolutely delicious. You should try it sometime. But I put it all in there because that's her favorite food. Okay, you do know that usually the proof is in the pudding is like a figure of speech. Not, this not, not a guideline. No, this is, no. It's all in the pudding. It's all in the dirt pudding, but I left it at home because okay. I was just so distraught. So, as of right now, you have no proof of marriage with you? <laughs> no proof at all. I don't even have my phone, which is also in the pudding. I just put everything oh, in the pudding. Okay. I, I see how it is. <laughs> Everything's in the pudding. I, we need to get was, a divorce was right the, now. Was this a state of, like, emotional turmoil where you just had to put things yes. in pudding? It's, it's a disease. It's a, it's, it's a disease? It's a mental problem. I have to put it in the pudding. <laughs> Okay, wait, let's, let's, let's investigate this. So it's like, <laughs> it's almost like an anxiety disorder, like OCD. It's, it's an OCD, it's, a, co it's a compulsion to put everything in the pudding. We're getting off track! I need to divorce this woman right now! Okay, so in order to have a divorce, I need to have some kind of proof of marriage. Like so, I said, it's in the pudding. Okay, well, I, I'm going to need the pudding. want to say you divorce her? Sure. All right, you're divorced. Oh, I'm divorced. Thank God I'm taking the kids, Sharon. The adopted kids. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I don't know what that was. Well, that was fun. And now, a dramatic reading by Ethan. The Beatles were a legendary rock group formed in Liverpool, England in 1960 and went on to pr transform popular music as a creative, highly commercial art form over the next decade. The Beatles were some of the most popular bands of all time, producing songs like Yesterday, Hey Jude, Penny Lane, with a little help from my friends, Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, Day Tripper, and Come Together. Learn more about the Fab Four, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr, by exploring our Beatles collection. And that's our show. If you liked it, let us know. If not, then whoops. Bye, guys. Ah! Could sing, I could sing Muppet songs if you want. Together again. Gee, it's good to be together again. I just can't imagine what you've what? ever been gone. It's not starting over, it's just moving on together again. Now we're here. What? Rainbow. Oh, I can do that one too. I listened to that last night. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? What's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong. Wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Oh, la la <laughs> All right, I'm done now. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to sing? Nope, I'm good. <laughs>